Good morning, guys. Welcome back to the channel. Today is the first day of the Chattanooga Motor Car Festival right here in Chattanooga. And we're gonna take the Corvair downtown. Uh, this is Friday, the beginning of the weekend. We're gonna go get a coffee and get downtown, show you guys the craziness that is the Motor Car Festival. Ghost key rings are going out. Today is Friday the 13th, by the way. So watch a good horror flick or something this evening. But ghost key rings are going out. There's only about nine left on the web store. So hit ludwigsgarage.com if you'd like one of these acrylic Ludwig's Garage ghost key rings that I made for the spooky season here in Halloween. And I think the pre-order for the 94 S shirts might still be live when you guys see this, possibly. I'm gonna shut the pre-order down pretty soon so I have enough with me to take on the cross country trip next week in the 924S for the pop-up meets we're doing. I'm gonna take these down to the mailbox and we'll get the Corvair started. It is perfect weather. It's like sweatshirt weather out this morning. It's gonna be nice, it's gonna be like mid high 70s later on today. This is in between episodes of working on the auto union, which I'm working on trimming the rest of the body away to fit down over the pan so I know whether or not the rear tires are gonna hit the rear window. So more on that. I wanted to get that episode done uh, before this one. I was up late last night uh, working on it. We got the car down over the body, or down over the pan rather, but not quite where it needs to be yet. So I need to do a lot more cutting on that body. Um, wanted that episode up before this one, but it's just not gonna happen. Not enough hours in the day. So I am working on the auto union though. So get stoked on that. guys we're out here at the Westin at the Woof to Cult showcase I haven't filmed much at all yet today uh, but have filmed like some of the cars that we've been walking around 962s I mean just the fact that you can walk up to a 962 is pretty insane All right, guys, day two of the Motor Car Festival, and we're taking two rigs downtown. We took Kayla's 944 last night. We saw the B-52s. We're going to get coffee now, uh, bringing the 944 out. We met a lot of uh, cool Porsche guys yesterday in from Memphis. And going to drop the Corvair somewhere downtown. Just leave the hot rod somewhere. And meet up with some friends, probably. In with good company. 
So we're back in the downtown a lot. We're gonna leave the Corvair here for now. And although it's not a Porsche, I am chilling with the air-cooled crew. These are uh, the Memphis, Tennessee guys. Uh, Pat Williams. Pat Williams Racing, I think is what the PWR stands for. Uh, this is Pat's 964. We got a chance to meet and hang out with Pat and a few of the guys yesterday. This one is 700 horsepower, which is just unbelievable. This slant nose is just unreal. Apparently one of one ordered from Porsche with this green interior. Look at how crazy. We're just parked here with these guys for right now. We're gonna go get some coffee and food and rusty garbage. All right, guys, you know I'm into the real weird stuff. When we walk into Meekum and immediately make a right-hand turn for a Dodge Shadow CSX shell. Take a while to guess what these wheels are made out of. What they're made out of? Yep. They are made out of plastic. Yep. They're plastic wheels. These cars are so cool. I mean, people underrate these cars. The Shelbys, I mean, you've got so much, even the door cards are Shelby, floor mats. These were turbo cars too. I wish you guys knew how badly I want a Ford Taurus SHO. The first gens had the Yamaha motors in them. And I don't know why, but I just love, I love the body style. I love the, the overall idea of these cars. A lot of them are manuals too. I don't know if this one is. No, this one's an automatic. And I think this one's a second gen. I know a lot of you Ford guys might be able to correct me on this, but the first gens, a lot of them came in manuals. All right, guys, well, we're here in the parking garage in downtown Chattanooga with my good friend Mark's 1959 Porsche 356. Now, we're gonna try to get Mark on camera here a little bit later. Uh, they're gonna be coming over to the shop to see the shop for the first time, actually, but to hang out for a little bit. And we're gonna get a good amount of info from Mark for you guys about this car because Mark has been to every corner of the country, all of the lower 48 states in America in this car. He's from Florida and he's driven it to California numerous times and he just got back a few weeks ago from a full trip in this car where he went up north through Wisconsin, Minnesota, through the Dakotas, into Portland and Washington, Oregon, down to Rensport Reunion and then all the way home. Uh, and he does this solo in this car and as you guys can see in the interior, it's not restored. There's barely a steering wheel left in this car, barely a seat left in this car, barely a windshield, no windshield wipers. Look at this. I mean, for someone who's driven, I, I mean, headlights, <laughs> there's not a squeegee left on these wiper blades. I mean, and you know, driving cross country, he has hit some serious rain in this car. I mean, it's just as raw as it gets. This car, I think it's got 340,000 miles on it. He might even be pushing 350,000 miles on it. I mean, look at the interior. I mean, there's nothing left. <laughs> but we knew it was up here in the parking garage, so we wanted to get up here and get some shots of it because I don't know if they'll be bringing it by after dark to the shop, so I wanted to get some shots of it here in the parking garage. All right, guys, we're back at the house. Got a few friends swinging by. Okay, let's get the 944 here. It's a pretty sweet looking driveway at the moment. Got the OBS, obviously. A couple of Porsche transaxle cars. And then the weird stuff. We haven't talked about what's going on with this thing yet, but we're working on this. This is an upcoming episode. I'm working on fitting it to the beetle pan. So more on that later. But we'll get the Corvair inside. Got the 700 deep inside, broken and down for the count. We'll work on that soon too. But Corvair has been pretty good this weekend. It's been starting when I needed to start and uh, yeah. But this is wild. I mean, I mean, rare German Fintail car, rare German Fintail car, and a chop top Corvair that you don't really see too often. So I'm pretty stoked on the look of the shop right now. I mean, it's definitely patina paradise, that is for sure. 
But yeah, my friend Mark Probanek and his buddy Adam are swinging by, so we're gonna hang out with them for a little bit, and we'll get Mark to tell us uh, all about his trip. So my buddy Mark has shown up to hang out at the shop for a few minutes and we talked about this car for a little bit before mm. you got here. Mm -hmm. <laughs> 340, 350,000 miles on it? Somewhere like 350, 360, I'm not even sure. I have to add it up. And you've owned it for over 20 years now, right? 25, yeah. <laughs> Bought it when I was 26. Yeah. yeah, when they were not the price they are now. Yeah, when speedsters were like thirty thousand dollars and barn door buses were like five grand unreal yeah you've been to every corner actually this last trip you've hit all over 48 states in this car now right correct yeah so yeah. i left florida and on the way to ren sport reunion seven i uh, stopped up in minneapolis i had and spent the night with chris cluel and he mapped out like the coolest roads to get the last eight states to get the lo all lower 48 with yeah. the car which Took me 25 years to do it, but you know, I had the time to do it, and I'm yeah. like, well, I'm gonna do it because not many people are lucky enough to have the time. Right, and you had already driven this to was it Rensport or Woof Technic? You drove it or uh, Woof to Colt? I mean, yeah. So I, I've done five out of seven uh, Rensports. I've done four uh, Lufka Colts. In this. In this. In yeah. this. From like, Florida. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> Amazing. And it I, seems like once a year you're out somewhere in this thing. Yeah. Like I just got home like a week ago and here I am in Tennessee. From Florida. <laughs> From Florida, which is in uh, this. about 500 miles, four, four or 500 miles. Unreal. Yeah. You did just get back from that trip in the last yeah, couple of weeks. Like a week ago. Unreal. Yesterday. Yeah. Unreal. <laughs> and then I left. <laughs> we left uh, Jacksonville at like 3.30 yesterday morning, got here by lunch. Yep. To load in for Lufka Colt. This YouTube channel is driving old cars coast to coast. I mean, that's yeah. I mean, the Century, the E23, the Q45, like all sorts of different trips. Yeah. We're about to set off in the 924S. And so seeing you constantly head out into the great unknown in this car, a 59 Porsche is just so inspiring. To me, I'm like, look, if I can drive this car through all over 48, you can drive a car with air conditioning and heat. Yeah, exactly. And I mean, look at this. Oh yeah. Oh, Rain so X. Yeah, yeah th this exactly. Is, this is this is for show. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. No. I, <laughs> yeah, as long as you're doing 30 miles an hour or more. It exactly, works like 35 ish. Yep. I think is when it that starts to beat and. and That's these off. things. No windshield wipers at all. Yeah. Yeah. Like I mean, yeah. driving through Yosemite in this freaking thick wet snow, I'm like, my windows are down. I'm like, trying to wipe. Reaching yep. outside, wiping the snow off my windshield so I can yep. even see so I don't drive off a cliff. Freaking freezing. Never thought I'd be so happy to get bit by mosquitoes and wear Florida. shorts again. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I mean, that was your home across yeah. all over 48 states. Yeah, it was a little bit more full of, like, suitcases and laptop and all that. But, yeah, that's pretty much it. Unreal, man. Yeah. I mean, it's... Porsche did it right. You know, they know how to design a car and engineer a car and... And everybody says, oh, it's a Ghia, it's a Volkswagen. I'm like, no. <laughs> Have you ever owned a Beetle and then owned a 356? They're similar, yes, engineering-wise, but they're these are way overbuilt compared to a Volkswagen. The head sizes, the dual carburetors, the oil canisters, all of that stuff is just well thought out. And to drive a 19, it's actually a 1958. 58. So yep. to drive a 1958 that was built in 57, one of the first 20,000-ish cars that Porsche ever built to go down the highway at 80 and get like close to 30 miles per gallon is like unheard of. You know, anybody who thinks you're not going to break down is either paying some a mechanic a lot of money yep. or they're fools. Yep. And so, you know, you just got to roll with it. And when it happens, you don't give up. You work through it and you may have to call some friends like, Hey, the, you know, this is what happened. What do you think? And 
You know, I'm not a mechanic by any means. Yeah, I've had to do that roadside, yeah, yeah. figure out what's going on, call people, call yeah. my dad. On the side of the road <laughs> with like, you're in an ant bed and yep. getting bit by fire ants or whatever it yep. is, or bison walking by you or deer <laughs> or elk or whatever. Yeah. You're yeah. like, what the hell is this? Where, what world am I in? Man, it's been inspiring to see you drive this car all over and not be afraid, you know, not be afraid yeah. of it. Like you, you said, carry the spare parts. You can't be afraid. And just go. You can't. And you got to just give it a little bit of love. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Congratulate yeah. it. We made it. Now let's get home. And, yeah. you know, I mean, Porsches are very, they're very reliable. Yeah. You know, once you sort through them and all that, the worst thing you can do in a vintage car, which I'm sure you know, is not drive it. Yeah, exactly. And anybody that's been in the vintage car world for a while knows that too because they've probably had more breakdowns than somebody else because yep. they're not driving it well man it's been awesome it's been awesome i mean we obviously catch up it seems like once every other year maybe yeah. at, at rolex or somewhere but yeah. it's really cool you're able to come up here really cool you're able to come to the shop yeah i'm super stoked to be here and i'm freaking cold oh, i bet you are I'm ready to put my over here. Puffy jacket on. <laughs> Surfer but boy. it feels great yeah feels yeah great. well it's awesome to see you man it's awesome you brought the car up Thanks, it's always good well, to see it that. so good to see you Dude, man good so see good you. to see you and safe travels on your trip to phoenix yeah we'll have you in our hearts and our minds as we're driving the 924s porsche cross country it's a little bit newer a little bit smoother but you got it same veins same you heartbeat you got it man you got it and i'm looking forward to following your journey on the uh on the gram yeah i appreciate it man we probably won't see you tomorrow because we'll be out of town but yeah. so good to see you guys good and, to see you john yeah safe travels home thank you All right, dude, safe travels. Thanks, John. <laughs>